I'm Paisley Moore with your Black Collective Daily. We're out here at the second annual Charlemagne the God Turkey Giveaway here in Monk's Corner. Monk's Corner's own and New York personality, Charlemagne the God came out to give away hundreds of turkeys to those in need and helping out his community. Charlemagne, thanks so much for being out here again. Thank you for having me again. Thank you. Well, you know what? I'm, when I say thank you for having me again, I'm really talking to God because, you know, it's a blessing to be a blessing to others. So being that we was able to do this again this year and do double the amount of turkeys we did last year, that means that God has blessed me tremendously again this year. So. Amen. So yeah. double the amount that you have from last year. So what did you see or what was your expectation? And do you feel like it was met this year as compared to last year? I feel bad because it's never enough. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the thing is, when you when you buying these turkeys, you like, can never really estimate how many people are coming. So, mm -hmm. you know, last year, I think we did like five, six hundred. This year, we did like double that. And we still had a, like like 100 people outside. Mm -hmm. So you feel bad, like, damn. So I'm happy that everybody did get, get a turkey, but I'm still thinking about the people who didn't. What's it like having people come up to you saying, you know, thanks for coming back, giving back to the community and things like that? I'm, I'm just happy that I'm able to do that. Right. You know, because there's a lot of people that get in certain positions, they don't even think about doing things like that. And that, that, honestly, that's all I think about. I'm always thinking about how I can help others because I feel like you rise when you lift up other people, you know, so it's just a blessing to be a blessing, man. You made a reference to New Jack City, Nino Brown, you saw in that scene where he gave out turkey. What's it like for you now that you're able to do something similar to what he did? Every time you get to a certain level, it's always another bar that you see higher than what you're doing. And it's always another level, it's always another bar. I never feel like I made it, but it does feel good to be able to provide for your people and do it in a legal way. You know, Brown sold drugs. Right. He's so dope, I sell hope. It's the difference. God has blessed all of us with our own individual unique gifts. And I love using the analogy of the Christmas tree. If God is our father, we're all God's children. It's a gift under that tree for each and every one of us. I mean, throughout the whole world. We just gotta be patient enough to find our gift. Think about being a tree with a whole bunch of people. Yeah, some people gonna find their gift before others. Some people are going to get discouraged and stop looking for theirs, but yours is in there. You just got to search for it. You got to find it. So for me, I want to use my platform to let those brothers speak. You know, whether I agree with everything that a Dr. Umar Johnson says or everything that, you know, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan says or Dr. Boyce Watkins or any of those brothers that we bring on, whether I agree with everything that they say, I believe that they have the right to say it. And I believe that all of them have the same goal at the end of the day, at the end of the day, and that's just the empowerment of black people. If we don't support our history and we don't encourage people or direct people to the, the things that we grew up on, they'll just fade away. You know, Mr. Farrakhan, the things that he said over the years have empowered me. So why wouldn't I want another generation to get some of that knowledge, to get some of that wisdom, to get some of that understanding? Dr. Umar, he's a brother that I see sparks a lot of conversation, you know? I don't agree with everything he says, but at the end of the day, his, his goal is the empowerment of young black men. So why wouldn't I let that brother get on the radio and speak? Same thing with Dr. Boyd Walker. We had Pastor Carl Lynch on this week. Kirk Franklin last week. And it's so funny because you got all these pastors now hitting me up saying, yo, you need to stop having them fake ass pastors on the show. Get a real pastor on the show. I'm like, yo, you're not a rapper? Are you sound like you talk, you, right. I sound like rappers talking. Right. Like, if we, if we all are just trying to better each other and all trying to get people back into God, back into the world. What's the problem with that? You know what I mean? It don't matter who the messenger is. Listen to the message. For those who want to help and try to get more turkeys even for next year, what can they do? What do you suggest? I let my cousin Kente Palmer. In comparison to last year, what made this year different? Uh, pretty much uh, we, we doubled the turkeys. Uh, put more people on being involved for the community. Uh, we had people that issue our free cell phones for people in need. We have vendors for uh, life insurance, uh, health insurance. It, it's all about giving people hope in life. After speaking with Kente Palmer, his co-founder of Third Eye Awareness and Charlemagne, that both expect great things in the future and more support and help. With your Black Collective Daily, I'm Paisley Moore.